three stacks and I wanted to go over the Cosmos again. Team King again is in this thing. Uh, so the Cosmo build I'm trying out now. Um, I wanted to just check out the Dark Planet. I just wanted to um, try and see how potent and um, actually good he really is. And he's broken. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna keep it just like this. It's still pure Cosmos. Because Dark Planet is a Cosmo itself. It's just uh, a little bit, um, like, part of my deck is focused and directed to getting him out. Because, like, the format is all about spells. Setting up, you know, building boards and plays and stuff. So, the getting spells is clutch. And it's not once per turn, so Dark Planet is broken. Let's hop in this main deck. So, we got a Triple Wind Cam. The, the best, the best, honestly, in my opinion, the best pilot. Um, no one's better than him because he's a level 1. So he's the only pilot who can actually tag into any pilot or any ship, and he also searches, loads up your grave. He's just incredible. Um, I run him at three because you want to see him all the time. And then uh, three straw man, uh, <laughs> Stratos man, pretty much. Uh, you play straw man, you bring out your dark destroyer, dark destroyer, tin can, search again. It's pretty broken, and now you have two pilots. Um, I can go over a lot of combos in this deck. It's just too many. But uh, straw man's broken for the dark planet build because. You banish your targets for him to get out Dark Planet, then you normal summon him, use his effect to get back. For example, let's say you had the luck of the draw, and you drew into Dark Destroyer. This is just an example. It could be any big ship. But let's say you banish Dark Destroyer, another card, bring out Dark Planet, normal summon him, bring out Dark Destroyer, Dark Destroyer effect, and now you have a big ship and two pilots, and you have another big ship in hand, and it's just so clutch. So that's why I'm running Strawman at three now, and then... uh. Two farm girl, farm girl for the OTKs off tops. I just like her a lot. Um, she still searches any Cosmo card, pretty broken, and also she's still a pilot. So you know you have to have a balance ratio. Please hold my camera steady. And then uh, the one sword trooper. So sword trooper, I had to cut him now. Um, I still am on debate whether I run him at two just because of the broken plays where you can go into rank threes and more than likely left ear and overextend. But um, I just like the one. Um, normally. I just don't go into them as often because I'm more focused on getting out the big ships than just, you know, comboing off of my pilots. And then uh, the Good Witch and the Wicked Witch, this is like Darth Maul. If you see a lightsaber, it reminds me of Darth Maul. Um, I want to get this Gold Rare. Pretty much the whole deck is hollowed out, no commons. Um, I just want to change her from a Super to a Gold Rare so she matches everything else. And finally, for pilots, we have Dark Vader. Uh, pretty broken. RIP to the format. <laughs> and then... uh. Triple Dark Planet, this is the uh, newest, latest, and greatest addition to the deck. Dark Planet is broken. So good. Just an uh, easy 4k beater to come out that can be targeted. And they're getting as many spells as you possibly can negate uh, up to pretty much the number of Cosmos in your grave. That's how many spells you can negate. And that's why Tin Can is also clutch, and I call him Wind Can, because he loads your grave up for Dark Planet, and he loads your grave up for Dark Eclipser. And I run Eclipser at 2. So um, these guys also are straddle like cards because if you find a way to get rid of them, they get to search a level lower Cosmo added to your hand. So you get Dark Destroyer, you get other stuff. Um, Eclipser and Dark Planet together are beaters who can be targeted and negate spells and traps. And then uh, the Dank Destroyer, rest in peace to the format when he was on point. Um, I really think to this day that he has like a secret plan to destroy Konami just because they put him at one. Uh, so stay tuned for that. He might just come back. Uh, two forerunner forerunners clutch for the uh, recyclability i'm um, coming back you know just from grinding out and just paying too many life points forerunner just keeps you in the game a lot of times like one time i was at 200 life points and he brought me back up to 22 and i was able to steal the game then we have a triple slip rider just amazing you know you go into infinity pretty much you run him at three for the rank fives and also for back row hate um this deck is one of the few decks that really just don't lose to back row there's only four traps in this game that can honest no five traps in this game that can honestly hurt the deck and that's vanity's emptiness and the song brigades so like if they don't use it on your pilot then they don't have it because they don't want to use it on your ship because if they strike or one of your ship it'll just get something else out so once you go into your slip rider you already know that the strike and warning is gone it's not there because if they had it they would have used it on your pilot so um slip rider just clears out the mirror forces and stuff like that and one land walker uh, large count for monsters, but it's pretty much an even balance of pilots and ships. And then, uh, spells, draw power, three allure, darkness, uh, three cosmo town, pretty much consistent spells, jar, searcher, pretty much unbreak your hands if they have too many ships or one too many pilots. And, uh, the Eteli that, I don't know why they put it at one. And, uh, traps, we've got three call the haunted, pretty broken, it's amazing, back this up for me a little bit. 
It's Call of the Haunts. It's amazing for Tin Can. You know, bringing back your ships that you dump. Three cards Mojo. Combos well. Dark uh, Dark Destroyer. Combos well with... Uh, Call the Haunted for Slip Rider, Slip Rider, Pop Cosmo Town, Search, Cosmojo, Slip Rider, Going to Tin Can, Overextend, crazy stuff. And then uh, 3 Strike, 1 Warning, and 1 Torrential Tribute, because it clears the board, you can go into Tin Can after you destroy your own ship with this, and then your next turn, you're going to attack with Farm Girl in the game. So uh, yeah, that's the main deck, Extra Deck, Vortex, Spicy Tech. Now, I don't run him for the ability to negate, I actually run him as part of a combo that I use to just Overextend and OTK. So what you do, you make your Absolute Dragon, and then you pop it with Dark Destroyer, and then you bring this guy out, bounce a monster your opponent controls, and then swing. It's pretty clutch. It's just a combo I came up with, um, and I realized how potent it was when it won me a game, so I decided to keep this in. And there's so much space in my extra deck, since I'm not running this in a competitive format, like I could just save a lot of the space that I have extra for Winter Cherries targets, but since I'm not, I just have a lot of space for creativity, so I wanted to try out this Odd Eyes combo. Also, uh, Big Eye, uh, we've got Fairy, uh, Frozen Lady Justice, you can drop her on pretty much any rank 5 monster, it's pretty clutch, and she pops the defense monsters, uh, all of them, in the uh, Infinity Package, and Pleiades, Volcasaurus, Zen Mayo, um, the Utopia Package, Dweller, Cricket Cook, realistically, every game you're only making one rank 4, so um, you kind of just choose which one you want, and then make it, and I like Cricket Cook, because he blows up my own ships, and then you can use those ships to go into smaller ships, or you can search with your Dark Eclipse or your uh, Dark Planet, and you can just pop them to make Tin Can, and then make your own Tin Can play with him. So I like him a lot. And um, if you want to sit on him, he's unaffected by card effects, just a spicy tech. You know, it's a lot of room for creativity, like I said. Now, this should be two Levier, but I only have one, so I'm just running Leviathan pretty much as like a, a uh, filler until I get it. So uh, that's it for now. God bless you guys. Be safe. Y'all have a good night. And I appreciate you, all the support. Um, I've been like noticing that a lot of people have been showing appreciation and I'm not like, um, what's the word? I'm paying attention to it. I'm not going to forget about anybody. Uh, we're getting more content. We're getting more interesting decks. Um, within a week, I will have a Dark Magician deck up. And if you guys are looking for us, um, I'm sorry. I realize that when you look up Team King of Games, you can't find it on YouTube. So you're going to have to actually look up my original channel's name, which is IVIN and 3000, no spaces, no capitals. And if you look up Ivan3000, you'll find Team King of Games. That way you can like, comment, so subscribe to our content. Do whatever you want to do. But I appreciate it again. And you guys have a good day. Thank you.